visit. I mean to tell you. The Belgian has had her hair done a new way. I can tell Mark does not like it. You did tell me when you rang this morning. And um, I've got to go out now, Frida. I can't talk. He looked so weary tonight. She wanted him to go get him off to some party. Naturally, I told him not to be so foolish. At his age, at the end of a long day. Frida, I've got to go out. I'm late already. We'll talk tomorrow. Bridget! It's a Hockney in California program tonight. Hello. Hello. Um, is Philadelphia? Hello, Bridget. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, it's just that someone called and I am. Um... Didn't get there in time. I thought it might be Philida. No, it wasn't. I mean, she's not actually here, so I can't say for sure. Oh, right. Well, um... Uh, who is that? It's Jonathan. Giles? Yes. It's Giles. Well, I mustn't keep you. Any message? No. Um, tell her I'll be out this evening, so not to call. I'm going to a service in Croydon. Croydon? Yes, Baptist. Quite a new experience. It's an exchange with our church. You must tell us all about it. Uh, when are you coming to dinner next? It seems quite a long time. Almost three months. That right. long? Yes, sir. Well, as I said, I'll be out this evening, so um, there's no point calling. Right. Well, I'll tell her. She'll be sorry she missed you. Bye. Bye. No message, just to say she was fine. How are you? And she's off to visit some church. I didn't know she was churchy. Oh, I think she does it just so I won't feel sorry for her. She keeps saying that she's got lots to do and then it turns out to be something dreary or desperately worthy. Meeting about local history or the church roof fund or one of those BBC Two programmes on frond weavers of the Andalusian Basin. <laughs> oh, she's always so bloody cheerful. Oh, I should have spoken to her. Oh, I'll call her in the morning.